um, I'm help. This video is basically helping out my friend and anyone else who has the same problem on how to edit templates for uh, Cinema 4D. So it's basic, it's simple, and you can do it really fast. Um, it just depends on how long or how big of a file the template is. So basically, what we're gonna do. I'm also been working on some Battlefield 3 templates for him, uh, finding them and collecting them and. Um, doing some motion tracking for those. As you can see, I'm doing it right now, but I, instead of it's for Breeze, I'm putting slothy edits. Uh, I'm also going to put his uh, YouTube in the description so that you guys can go check it out. Um, he's um, doing well on that one. Uh, so basically what we're going to want to do is, um, I have a template we're gonna, I'm going to show you guys. It's called Twisted Gold. Um, we're just going to open that up real quick. Um, here it is right here. Uh, we're just going to click play so you guys can get a look of what it looks like. Uh, it looks slow right now, I know, but that's because it's not rendered out all the way. And, um, um, yeah. So as you can see, we're just going to click play on that, and it slowly forms the, the word it's for breeze with letters, which is really cool. And spinning sphere looks really awesome. Um, we're just going to pause it. I'm going to render it out for you guys just so you guys can get a look of what it looks like. Um, uh, I'm trying to think of how long it's going to take to render that picture. I can make it really quick. I'm just going to uncheck these. Actually, I'm going to check Global Illumination. No, I'm not. I'm going to uncheck that. Ambient. No, I'm not. Oh, here it is. All right, go to sampling. Low. Make sure both of those are on low. Now, I'm going to render it. Well, anyway, guys. While that's doing that, I'm just going to talk to you for a minute. Um, editing templates is basically you opening it up, you clicking on one thing, or maybe multiple things if it's text, um, and you go into edit text, and you just delete what they have and put your word in. That's it. Some people thought that you had to do a lot more stuff, do custom settings and stuff, which some some things you do, I'm going to show you how to do that, but you don't have to, It, it it's so small, you know, um, it's such a simple thing. It's not hard at all. Some people made it out to be like, "Oh, look what I'm doing." You know, I'm making, I'm gonna get me some templates. You can, you know. But it's, it's really simple, guys. If, if you have Cinema 4D and you're starting out, work with it a little bit. But honestly, just go get some templates. You know, it's not hard. takes takes very little time. I found out, and uh, I taught myself how to do it. So I didn't have to look up on YouTube. Um. So uh, first thing we're gonna do see it's for Breeze. Um, we're gonna go to right here. It says Mo Text, Mo Text, right here. Um, you're gonna click on it, and you're gonna see a text box. You're gonna do that. You're gonna delete everything, and let's put. Um, all right, now we're gonna go to the text, and you can put anything. You know, I got some really cool stuff. Um, and you're gonna take the arrow, the green arrow, or you just to click on this. Somehow, oh no, that's the floor. Do not want to do that. Let's go to Mo Text. Move it up just a little. Enter. All right. So now what you're gonna do is you're gonna have it rewounded, or rewind, or whatever you wanna call it. And see now it's a little bit more in the air. It's looking really cool. And then it says sample. Isn't that I mean that that's that's it right there? That's all. Now some people said, "How do I change the colors?" Well, as you can see, the colors are blue and you have these little blue spheres. So let's change that. Um, I'm gonna go to create. I have some colors down here, but I'm gonna go to create. I'm gonna go to color and let. How about let's do green. Put it darker, a little bit darker than what you may want. Then you're gonna go to reflection. You're gonna check it, and you're gonna want to go to um, the box and go to lime green again, but make sure it's really light. Like a really light green. Now let's X out of that. And we're going to go. And we're going to put this. And for it, all the blues. All the blue spheres you see. Now this one right here. Hyper nerves. I'm pretty sure that's the sphere. Let's see. Yep. Alright. So now we got that. Now let's go and let's click play. And at the end, we'll render it out and see what it looks like. Oh, 
looking awesome. Let's render it out and just see what we get. Also, people were asking, how do you change the um, the light inside of the ball or the sphere? I'm also going to show you how to do that. Um, what we're going to want to do is go to um, sphere right here. And um, I'm waiting for that to render out for you guys so you can guys kind of see what it looks like. Um, and people were also asking... How are you changing the back? How are you changing the floor color? There's a thing called disc. Let's render that out. And, um. Um. Sorry, I'm having to render so much. I'm just trying to give you guys an idea of what it looks like. Uh. Uh. People were saying, oh, but plain isn't doing it. I'm trying to put color on plain and it, it's not doing it. Well, that's because you go to disc. They've put a disc around it so that, um. You can kind of see, uh. It's like a selected area where it's color and um we're going to do that now as you see it's really reflective voice crack i don't know if you guys heard it but i did um it's selective area so you're going to need to go and um just put whatever color you want and drag it over there um i put it just red because i'm not i don't want to go and have to create more and more materials to do it but you guys get the point i just took the red that i had down here which is really really reflective so it looks really bad right now because you can actually see where it's different but um um you guys got the point on that now people are asking about the inside the ball now let's find a way to do that let's go to create new material i'm going to double click on it color let's find a color that would go with it how about yellow yolo right jk i'm going to go to glow then we're going to go to um Let's just go like that. All right. So then, what we're going to do is we're going to take it, and you can literally drag it on the part where the ball is glowing. Now, what we're going to do is we're just going to want to render it out, and you're, let's see uh, what it exactly it'll look like. And then we could also take this, and you can put it on that sphere right there over it to, um, and then we're going to click on the ball that we had put put on there, and we're going to delete it. Or no, we're not going to do that. Um, let's just render it out. We don't have to delete it. Um, but by the way, guys, thanks for the people that have subscribed and commented and um, liked my videos. That that really helps a lot. Um, I know I just started up on YouTube, really. Um, I have had many other channels, but this is one I'm going to spend a lot more time on than normal. Um, so I, I really appreciate it from you guys. Um, that, it means a lot. Alright, so as you can see, the ball is like that, but it's not, um, it's not, uh, it's not, um, what am I trying to say here? So what we're going to do is we're going to go to Matt and the uh, Luminates, so we need to check Luminates. And, um, we're going to go to yellow and uh, then you can kinda just go around and see exactly what alright so we have the exact same settings alright so then let's go and drag it over to where it would glow and render it out alright guys this is I'm nearing the end of the video screencast omatic is what I'm using um, it gets the job done so I don't really care for anything else um, but uh, it uh, only gives you a certain amount of time to shoot videos so I'm going to stop the video after this alright there you go guys you see it's uh, has luminance so it's looking pretty it looks gl like it's glowing let's just click play and just kinda show what it looks like you got the colors, you got all that. Let's pause it here and render it. This is the last render you'll see, don't worry. Um, but yeah, also if you haven't uh, subscribed, please go for it. Um, I make videos like this all the time that are really helpful when it comes to uh, editing software and uh, making editing videos. Um, also go check out my other channel, Azure Skateboarding. That's uh, I edit skateboarding videos for people. Um, and uh, 
uh, like us on Facebook. You can go on Facebook and look us up. It's Slothy Edits. When I say us, I usually just mean me. Uh, there, I'm, I'm going to try to get some more people to join like a group kind of thing uh, where they, they do all different kinds of videos. But um, I haven't found anybody yet. So if you're interested, I guess uh, message me on here on YouTube or go to and uh, email me. Slothy Edits at gmail.com. Alright guys, so as you can see, it's really, it looks really nice. Um, yeah, let's get out of that. Alright, well, thanks guys, and um, I will see you next week, or tomorrow. Who knows? <laughs> see you.